Hey, this is Eric, and this video is one in a series of videos on Google Meet. This video covers how you can save a copy of the chat messages, closed captions, and screenshots in a Google Meet by using a free Chrome extension called Meet Transcript. Google Meet is a powerful video conferencing tool with many features, including live closed captions and a panel for chat messages. What would be great, though, would be an easy way to save all of the captions and the chat messages from the meeting. This would be especially valuable for teachers to have a detailed record of student participation in the session, including everything said or typed and by whom and at what time. Unfortunately, Google Meet does not have a built-in option to save the live captions, and the only way to save the chat messages is to record the entire video of the meeting as well. Thankfully, there is an excellent and free extension called Meet Transcript that does all of this and a little bit more, and we're going to explore that in this video. So the first thing we will need to do is install the extension. To do this, we will go to the Chrome Web Store at chrome.google.com slash web store. Here we can search for Meet Transcript in the search box in the top left-hand corner. Once we find it, we can click on the result to open the page for this specific extension. If you're having any trouble finding the extension, a direct link is included in the description of this video and in my blog post. Now we can install the extension by clicking Add to Chrome and then by giving permission for the extension to install. After the extension installs, we'll get a new page that opens asking our permission to let the extension save the transcripts to our Google Drive. We will click Grant Access to Google Drive to allow this. We will now select our account and then click the Allow button. Next, a page will open up where we can adjust the settings for the extension if we wish to. For example, we can choose to have the captions automatically turned on so the extension can record them. There is also an option to hide the captions if we want them turned on for capturing but we don't want to see them live. If you prefer to see the captions, just uncheck this box. Finally, there's an option to turn the screenshot button on or off. Now we are ready to use the Meet Transcript extension. Let's see how it works. First, we will start up a Google Meet as normal. Because we have the Meet Transcript extension installed, we will see some new buttons in the toolbar at the bottom of the Meet screen. First, we will see the Transcript button. If we left-click on the button, it will open the Google document with the live transcript from our session. If we right-click on the button, it will take us back to the Settings page for the extension. The next new button on the toolbar is the Screenshot button. If we click this, the extension will take a picture of our current screen and add that to the Google Doc transcript. Next, notice that the Live Closed Captions button is automatically turned on because we had selected this in the settings for the extension. The captions have to be turned on for the extension to record the transcript. So, if you turn off the captions, the transcript will stop being saved until you turn the captions back on again. As different people in the Google Meet speak, the extension will save what they say in the Google document. It will also place a timestamp and the person's name before the text of what they said. This makes it very easy to keep track of who said what during a meeting. In addition to recording the live closed captions and the screenshots, the extension can also save the content from the chat panel in Google Meet. For this to work, you have to have the chat panel open so the extension can capture the chat messages, so be sure to open the chat periodically throughout the Meet. The chat content gets added to the Google Doc at the bottom below the closed captions transcript. As the Google Meet goes on, the extension will automatically add all of the live closed captions and chat messages and screenshots to the Google document. 
At the end of the meeting, you'll have a full record of everything said and typed as well as any important screenshots. And because this is just a regular Google document, you can share this transcript with others just like you would normally share any Google file. In the future, you can find all of your transcripts in your Google Drive in a folder titled Meet Transcript. And that's it. That is how you can use the Chrome extension Meet Transcript to save a copy of the chat messages and the live closed captions in Google Meet, as well as take screenshots. Check out the other videos in this series for more training on how to use Google Meet. The full list can be found at www.controlaltachieve.com slash meetvideos.